the watch eight classic here comes the classic that has been in the mix for a long time with the rotating bezel so today we're trying to recalibrate watch eight classic to be able to read blood pressure so you've got the blood pressure monitor and the phone with samsung health app which enables you to use the watch to measure blood pressure so we need to take three readings with the watch and the monitor and enter the number of reading from the monitor onto the samsung health app on the phone so the first measurement is being entered now and so that is entered exactly as we see on the Omron blood pressure monitor so we go to next and we take another measurement again to see how that measures again to get the reading we have to do this thing three times before the watch can independently measure the blood pressure on its own so let's go for the second measurement then so we need to try as much as we can to ensure we are taking the reading on the blood pressure monitor and on the phone or the watch with the phone around the same time and it's sometimes very difficult to achieve that so we'll try and see if we can close the gap between when the reading comes on the monitor and when the reading comes on the watch so let's get the watch set up and the phone up going now so next and then it starts and so let's wait for it to start and we can start the monitor okay so let's go monitor has started now and the watch has started so let's see if we can close the camera so the second reading is ready and so we need to enter that into the phone on the samsung monitor app samsung health monitor app so we've got that entered now exactly as it appears on the monitor and we need to go for the final third reading with the app and watch compared to the blood pressure monitor so let's get to start it normally the watch with the app takes a few minutes to start so let's wait for it to just about to start and then we can start the monitor yeah help me the blood pressure monitor there you go so it's working now and the watch is lagging behind a little bit yeah it's always difficult to get them working at the same time but we'll try as much as we can to see at least give or take the reading should be as close as possible since it will be around the same time and the activity being done will be similar so we should get similar reading when it comes to the blood pressure so yeah i'm wrong reading has finished way before the watch started so we're waiting for the watch to complete its reading and so we can now enter the reading from the blood pressure monitor onto the watch and it's a third time so that will be the end of us entering values into the health monitor app on the phone which mirrors what the watch reading should be so then on the next try we should be able to get a watch to measure blood pressure on its own without needing the blood pressure monitor but we can just measure on each separate one so the watch and the blood pressure monitor and again aim to time it and see what the readings will be on both devices so let's try and get that going
So monitor started, watch started just around the same time this time around. So let's see how the reading, how close the readings will be. So this time around the watch finished first so the blood pressure monitor is about to also deliver its numbers and hopefully it should be very close if not the same oh that's a big difference let's try one more time and see because this time the difference is quite <coughs> significant so we go again whilst we wait for the measurement result of the watch and I'm on blood pressure monitor just a quick recap on what watch a classic offers compared to the previous model so classic comes with the rotating bezel which is nice to have this version has the antioxidant index measurement as well as ages and so really nice addition the antioxidant measurement based on fruits and vegetables you have in your system. Measurements are close mm -hmm. from the reading and now you can use the watch to measure for a month.